Today, I am spending 100 days as a skeleton in Minecraft. You see, I'm currently stuck inside of a skeleton farm, and I have 100 days to escape. Using my powers as a skeleton, I'll be able to upgrade my bow to become extremely powerful, which will help me in my escape. Will I be able to escape by day 100, or will I be turned into bone meal in yet another terrible farm? I am a Minecraft skeleton. We're in the farm and I am a skeleton and we find ourselves trapped in what appears to be a skeleton cage. For those that don't know or are unaware, here's how these videos work. My friend Farmer Unicorn creates these insane farm maps that I have to go through. They're basically giant escape rooms that I have to escape from within 100 days or by day 100 because it's a 100 day challenge. So we have to figure out how to escape from this place within the 100 days or we fail the challenge. Oh, he here he comes now. And so so this is where the challenge begins because usually he's gonna come in and do something like murder people or oh high yield today boy so yeah. this is what he's doing this farm is oh god oh god oh god, oh god. don't get stuck Woo! so he is murdering the skeleton oh that skeleton's running oh so he's murdering the skeletons for their bones and this is what we're trapped in right now oh, hold on. i don't want to get shot here oh is he leaving oh no he murdered one more for good measure mm, plenty of delicious bones so yeah i have to escape this crazy farm within 100 days now the first room i'm in i'm obviously trapped i'm gonna take these extra bones you never know when this stuff comes in handy oh my god so many bones anyway right off the bat i'm in a room i can't even escape from the only way out is the buttons on the outside so i'm gonna have to either sneak out when he enters or find some other way out but anyway it's time to go ahead and build ourselves a shelter if he's gonna come in and shoot the skeletons like every day then i need a place to hide in case he comes in to Shoot him. So first priority isn't even to get outside. It's time to be safe, build a survival base, and that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. And plus, we can't even go outside yet anyway, because if you look here on my morph menu, you'll notice there's that little flame icon. Well, that means if I go outside during the day, I'm gonna light up like a Christmas tree, and not in a good way, like a, a Christmas tree that's on fire type of way. Looks like we got a shooting range. Oh, we get a bow. I'll take a free bow and rich calcium bowls. Oh no. Am I gonna have to eat bone powder? Okay, well, to build a survival base, I'm gonna need wood but to get wood i have to get outside so maybe there's another way outside that i can find or i can possibly dig away outside but if i do that i have to be ultra careful because i don't want to get seen now this isn't a terrible place to dig outside so long as okay no that's not gonna work i don't have a pickaxe um maybe some of the skeletons give information hey buddy personal space okay this cage is made of bones oh my god it is got something to trade for 64 arrows he'll give me a power one book so i could upgrade the bow over time it looks like to get stronger and stronger okay that's cool the farmer has a lot of wolves around he's got a special wolf tamer that teaches them to throw bones creepy okay that's weird you looking to upgrade yourself oh he sells me an upgraded bow that's gonna cost half my arrows up front i don't think that's worth it yet anyway back to finding this wood or a way out to the trees let's see what we can do here okay so i've been looking around for a bit and i don't think there's any wood in here i'm starting to guess there is no wood in this place at all uh and there's no way that it will let me escape so what i'm gonna try and do here is i'm gonna try and finagle my way out using the soul sand I'm gonna put it back so it's not overly suspicious, but I don't think this small hole in the ground is that suspicious, to be honest. And then we're gonna just basically build a block there, 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 and over these. Now, I need to find a way back in, and I also don't wanna burn when I go out. So I'm gonna have to be really quick about, well, actually, I'm gonna have to be really quick about doing this. Ah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Now I'm on fire for just stepping in the sunlight. I'm thinking of just jumping down and running for the trees. Here we go. Nope, burn, 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 burn. Get under the tree. Don't die, please don't die. Eat the rice bowl. Oh, yo, we actually heal pretty good with that. And sprint to the next one. Oh, okay, we're on fire again. Break down this tree as well. Wait, oh. ah! we're being attacked by dogs. Oh, back on fire. Please tell me that's the open button. Okay, it's open. And uh, it's, oh, oh my God. Ah! Protect me, friend skeleton. Okay, please don't die. Okay, we're alive. We gotta shut that door. That dog is cut. Wait, we have a bow. What am I afraid of? Oh, they're tagging the other skeletons. Oh, he burned to death. Oh no, I'm sorry. I got him killed. That's that's pretty much completely my fault. Anyway, I gotta find a way to shut this door. Otherwise, unicorn's gonna be really suspicious. I'm trying to see if there's a way I can like hit that button from this angle. Oh, I just missed it. I don't wanna waste too many arrows on this. <gasps> yes, okay, it worked. We got it. Yes, it's shut. And now nothing is suspicious once we remove that soul sand. And oh my God, do I have so many bones. We're finally able to start building our survival base. Now I have way too many bones. In honor of my fallen uh, friend, I'm gonna burn some of his bones. There you go. There you go, friend. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually work on the base itself. A good place to hide this base is gonna be somewhere pretty hidden. So actually, this is not a bad spot. If I could get some like ladders going, this might not be a bad area. So let's go ahead, let's make a crafting bench, make a basic pickaxe. 
And now we can start digging out a little bit of a room. This is going to take forever with a wooden pickaxe. I'm upgrading real quick. Okay, cool. Upgrade complete. Now let's finish digging out this room real fast. Now this is just going to be a hollow room with nothing in it to start except a crafting table, but that's fine. And boom, this is our home. So let's go ahead, let's grab our crafting table, bring it on down, make a couple furnaces, and we should be okay. Boom. And we can go mining for actual stuff later, but boom, we have a bunker where we're a little bit safer, so we're not just gonna die by getting shot at every day in this farm. We also, now that we have tools and stuff, we're gonna be able to hopefully make a more permanent solution here, and hopefully one also that lets us not burn. We gotta get ourselves a helmet so we don't burn, because uh, that kind of stinks. Okay, so it's currently day two. Just crafted myself a brand new fresh stone pickaxe. Look at it. I wanna keep going down because I heard a mob, so I know I'm getting close to something this way. I also could use that string to, oh, here we go, perfect. Okay, perfect. Now we just need something to make a helmet. Now let's see if we can find some iron. There we go. One, please be five. And there's also iron like everywhere around here. I'm going to need a lot of helmets too. The longer I'm out in the sun, the more damage the helmet's going to take from me being out in the sun. It's basically like constantly blocking damage. So it, the durability is going to keep going down on it. Now that's all the iron I should need for now. I don't need like a crazy amount this early. And the other bad thing is beyond the helmets, I don't want to be wearing too much armor because unlike the other mobs where wearing armor makes me invisible, that's not how it works on this one. Like at all. Oh, I hear gunshots. Oh, is he firing? Going at five. Oh, I can't see anything. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Oh yeah, he killed that one. He seems to come in about every day about this same time around like noonish. I'm just gonna let him be up there and murder people for a sec. Well, I go ahead and get this stuff smelted. Oh god, he's getting close. <gasps> okay, that was pretty intimidating. Okay, let's grab this stuff. That should be enough to make a, at least that iron helmet. So now we can actually start exploring this place and seeing what this place is about. I'm gonna actually make a second helmet right off the bat, just in case that one starts to break. Now that I have that though, we'll let the rest of that iron just smelt for now, and we're gonna go work on another exit for this place. I want this exit to be pretty well hidden, so we just dig this here. And we just dig right here, right? Break that one grass. It's not going to look overly suspicious, right? You'd have to really look out for this to see this. This is not overly suspicious. So cool. We have an exit. And look, we're not burning, though you can see our helmet has already taken some damage because of the sun. We can actually go ahead and get more wood, and we can start learning a little bit more about how this place works while hopefully not getting ourselves caught. Oh, there's a dog coming. Oh, bone thrower. What? Okay, we killed him. Okay, let's go. Let's go over here. This place is huge. Getting around is going to be no easy feat. Here we go. Run this way. Okay, so outside the slaughterhouses, there's also other buildings here I want to check out because I honestly know a lot about the slaughterhouses already. I've done a lot of them in the past. So let's go ahead and let's see what other buildings we can find. Right off the bat, I don't... Oh, God. I'm being attacked. Ow. There we go. Okay, over here, here we go. Here's an example. Now these buildings don't appear to be numbered. I think there's a dog thrower right here who wants me. Let's battle, dude. Ah! Cut into this tree. Oh God, unicorn's right there. Be very careful. I can barely see him through the tree. There he is, look at his little pink head. Anyway, I think this is gonna be a security building. Yeah, with all those cameras, I bet you that's gonna be a security building of some kind. And this other building must be Unicorn's house. Okay, so it looks like there's a few other non-numbered buildings here, but there's not many, which is rare. Usually there's a vault or something else I can look at. So it looks like there's just slaughterhouses and a few other buildings. Wait, what is this? And this looks to be some sort of dungeon. Yeah, this is some sort of dungeon. I don't want to go into anything in case it's like a trap or anything, but yeah. So that's really all this place seems to have to offer. So uh, yeah, I guess I guess that's, that's it. Let's figure out how to escape. After learning about all the buildings in the skeleton farm, I decided to take a closer look at some of the slaughterhouses houses to see what challenges I might have to face ahead so I could prepare. And I learned a bit. Slaughterhouse 1 appears to be a bone crusher of some sort that makes bone meal. Slaughterhouse 2 appears to be some sort of bow puzzle. And Slaughterhouse 3 appears to be a crazy circus. Though, I don't know what actually happens there. Anyway, we have to start figuring out how to escape this place soon so we don't get stuck here past day 100. Okay, so we know what Slaughterhouses 1, 2, and 3 are, but we still need to figure out what Slaughterhouse 4 is, what 5 is, etc. So I'm gonna go to Slaughterhouse for today and really try and explore it and figure out what it is and get as many details on it as I possibly can. So let's go over here. Now we know one and two over there. So four is going to be somewhere in this direction. It sort of goes in order. So I think four is going to actually be in this corner back this way. So let's just go back here. We'll go this way. I'm definitely being attacked. I just heard a bone get thrown at me. We're just going to keep sprinting fast through. Maybe they'll stop chasing me. Okay, I think I found four. Okay, yeah, four is tiny. It's tucked away in this back corner. No wonder I couldn't find it. Okay, we've ditched most of the dogs at this point. So four. Oh! Oh God! Hey, I saw uh, you on my camera. This way. Here. Oh God, is he gonna run that corner first, or am I running this corner first? Come on! Ah! <laughs> no, it's a dead end! No! No! Huh. Nowhere to run, boy. No! Oh 
only hands where I can see him. Great. Well, we got caught. I thought I had a chance at getting away there, but I didn't. So I guess we're going to Slaughterhouse 1 today. So if you're new to these videos, you're about to learn what a slaughterhouse is. And I will warn you, they are not that fun to go through. Come on, boy. I need to get in here quick. Okay, there we go. We're in. You're going in my bone crusher. Okay, I'm in the bone crusher. What's the bone crusher? There, go. Oh, God. What's my helmet at? 92. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't get crushed. Yep, there it is. Does my helmet go down in here? In the glass? Oh, God, it does. Oh, God. Good thing I have a second helmet on me. Run. Don't come back unless you're bone paced. I could probably get past two of these at once. Let's try to run past two. Come on. Go. Go. Yes, we can. We can run past two. Here we go. What does this drop me into? Oh, God. Lava. Whoop. Okay, we made it. Whoop, we made it. Whoa, whoa. Here we go. We gotta try again. Whoop. Oh, we almost didn't make that. I just gotta jump to this ladder. Here we go. Whoop. Oh, we're burning. Okay, wait here for a sec. Eat some food. Oh, I'm in the sun too. Come on, get that saturation back up. Whoop. Oh, we made it. Okay, boosted me up. I can go here. Can I make that? Oh, I can. Okay. Oh my God. Do I have to run right now? Oh god, 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 oh god. And I got a free anvil. Oh god, don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Oh! Ow! Eat, 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 eat. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Careful. These guys are brutal. I think if I stay in the middle lane, I'll be okay on this one. Nope, not okay in the middle lane. Here we go. Go, go, go. Yes, don't, don't. Yes, we got past them. Oh my goodness. What in the world is happening here? I don't even know. If I fall in there, am I gonna blow up? Is that what happens? Oh, God. Or is that the way out? No, that's definitely the way out. Here we go. Ready? Jump once. Jump twice. Jump three times. Oh, God. Oh, God. I missed it. I missed it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're alive. I see a ladder over there. We can live this. E -d 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 -d. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Go. Go for it. Go for it. We got to go for it. Oh, no. This is going to be really close. Oh, we lived it. Oh, but we're burning. Oh, but we got another helmet. Thank goodness. Oh, no, dude. This is difficult. Okay, here we go. Jump. Jump. Conveyor belt parkour is tough, man. Come on. Yes. We did it. Okay, there we go. We did the hard one. There we go. Whoop. There we go. Come on. Yes. Oh, we're so close. There we go. There we go. Come on. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think we did it. I think we're out. Yes, I think we're out. Yes, we did it. We completed the slaughterhouse. We need to get back to the pen, though, because this helmet is going to break soon. Oh, my God. That was insane. I am out of here. After getting caught and sent to Slaughterhouse 1, I decided to cut back on trying to figure out what the slaughterhouses are for now. Over the next few days, I worked on getting some upgraded armor since I almost died in that first slaughterhouse. I made a strip mine and kept mining till I had enough for full diamond armor and a diamond sword. I do eventually plan to enchant this, but this armor should be good enough for now and should help me survive whatever challenges come my way. That's better. There we go. Gamma is up. And now we can actually use our eyeballs and see. How many arrows was it for the upgraded bow? I think it was 32. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now we have a leather bow which should be better than this unbreaking three bow. And now we're going to go ahead and start planning our escape. Now we got to work backwards, right? The best way to figure out how to escape a place is to work backwards. So we know that we have to go to the front gate. And let's head on over there real quick. You know what I'm actually going to go ahead and do real fast? I don't know if this is going to work, but I think it might. Let's quickly find out. If I grab two pieces of wood here, and then I go into the crafting table and turn them into buttons. Can I make an open and close thing from the inside? Oh, it looks like it's too thick. This may not work. No, it doesn't work. Okay, hold on. We can do this. We got to do this in a way that doesn't look suspicious, though. Does that look overly suspicious? Ah! I don't think that does. If we do it on both sides, I don't think it looks suspicious enough to, like, catch. It's only one block. It does give me a place to open it. Now, let's test this out. Yes, okay, it does work. Perfect. Now, we have a way out. Okay, here he comes. Nice. Who shot the dog? Here we go. Same thing. Let's go back to what we were doing. We were going to the front gate so we could... Oh, dear. Now, I don't want to get caught because I'm in full diamond armor. I don't want to be out too long. And you'll notice I'm wearing iron helmets because I don't want to waste my diamond one. Okay, we're up to four. Ooh, unicorn's right there. Run. Okay, he didn't see me. I don't think he saw me. He's not coming. Okay, ow. As I was saying, to the front gate should be right around this building. I just don't want to get caught by unicorn over there. Where is this gate? I could have swore the gate was over here. Oh, I'm just dumb. The gate's right there. Okay, let's check out this front gate. Oh my god. That's a lot of dogs. Okay, we're not getting near that gate. Also, the reason I was checking is because I believe I'm correct in this. But let me explain why getting out of this gate is going to be pretty difficult. Okay, so that gate is not normal iron bars. You can tell by looking at it, it's a little bit darker of a color. Those are what we call reinforced iron bars. And there's only one way to destroy any sort of reinforced block that Security Craft adds. And that is to blow it up with TNT. So the only way out of this entire farm is to blow up the front gate and escape. Now, where am I going to get TNT? Usually, Unicorn hides it in some sort of vault, right? A giant vault, or there's a big TNT-looking building, something like that. 
that, which shows me, hey, this is where you get TNT, but that doesn't exist here. So I gotta figure out exactly where that's going to be, but I'm not really sure. The only other real places it could be is Unicorn's house or the security room, but he never really hides it in there. So there could be something I'm totally missing here. I was calling this a barn, but there's, wait a minute. I don't think it's a barn at all. Hold up. No, that's a doghouse. If I were TNT, where would I be? Uh, in fact, no, let's go check out the doghouse because I really don't know where else to look here. Okay, so let's go to the doghouse. Oh my God, the doghouse has so many dogs. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in here. Oh God, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get in here. No, I don't think it's gonna work. Let's go back. Ooh, hide, 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 hide. I just saw his name underground and then he just popped out of the fountain. Is there something under the fountain? I think there's something under the fountain. He definitely just came from an underground like area under the fountain. Oh, I knew it. It's elevators. What is this? Oh my, is that, I think that's, oh my God, I found the vault. This is the vault. This is literally the vault. Please enter four color pass. So there's a password here, but like if you look in that door barely, you can see that there is TNT beyond that final door. This is the vault. This is it. This is literally what I was talking about. I knew it. Okay, so there is a vault here. It is underneath the fountain. And this is where I'm gonna have to obtain the TNT to blow open the gate and escape. But however, there appears to be multiple layers of security with a color code followed by something that I can't even tell what that is. And then it looks like a key card so there is quite a few layers of security here that i'm gonna have to figure out how to bypass i just don't know how to do that yet so we're gonna go back up the fountain real quick go back to the skeleton pit and oh Whoa. we're not going back skeleton pit dun, 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 dun. Where, where do you think you're going Hide. Well, i thought he'd go down no so you, th you think you think you're real smart you know my my secrets huh it's all right you'll never know the rest of my security system around here how I'm much hidden stuff does he have too. i'm not gonna punch you too hard listen come on up with me i got a problem to solve now you have been voluntold to help Paul and told to help him with the problem. Oh, great. Let me tell you about what's been going on around here. We tried opening up a wither skeleton kind of side project over here, you know, on account that they drop bones too and stuff. Something went horribly wrong, and now we can't close the portal. It's a little too dangerous, and the dogs are too stupid. So, so they um, he tried to farm wither skeletons, and it's... Oh, God, they're coming at me. You you get in there. Oh, my God, a ton of arrows. Take out the portals, and then you come back here, and then I'll let you live. Sound good? If I take... Wait, you'll let me live if I take out the portals? Oh, come on. Come on get. Wait, wait. Hold up. I knew it. That looked fishy. Let's jump there. I can shoot these yellow plat buttons. If I fall, these guys will kill me. Oh, they're, they're hoarding. Uh-oh. There we go. We got it. How do I push it? I can't push it because there's barriers. Oh, wait. Can I? Just push oh. it. Oh, I'm stupid. There was a hole. All right. That's, that's one out of four. You got to go get the rest and then it'll turn, it'll turn off. All right. So I did half of this challenge. Now I got to figure out how to get to the other sides. I wouldn't hang out on that platform too long. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, I see. I can't go this way. I have to shoot these. Okay. Jump. Oh. Ah! Just run. This is a you help me, I help you kind of situation. So try not to die. There we go. Okay. We're back up. Jump there. Okay, we made it to the second platform. Now we just need to figure out a way to get to that arrow. Jump to this one. There we go. We've destroyed the second portal. Okay, I can do this. Let's go this way now. Get to this other side. Okay, I like how this works. Whoa. There we go. Okay, now we just need to go straight. We put a platform there. Put a platform there. What is this platform? Yeah, that's exactly what had to happen. Here we go. We can do this last puzzle now. We got to do that one. This one. To here. Here. Oh my god, please. Yes, we totally did it. Yes, they're all gone. Now I just need to make all it back. Right, look, you, you turned the whole thing off. Good job. Now you just gotta come back alive, all right? Okay, we can make it back alive. This is easy. Easy street. Well, maybe not easy street. Oh, if I were you, I'd make a mad dash. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, we are gonna die. We are literally burning to death. Man, this calcium food is so good. I'm alive. Hey, you, you did it. Congratulations. Just, uh, do me a favor. Don't go snooping around again, all right? Come uh, on. Yeah, okay. Another Slaughterhouse down. After surviving Slaughterhouse 2, I started to get nervous with how often I was getting caught. I decided it was probably for the best to try and see if I could take out the farm security system. I decided it was probably best to try and see if we can get into this farm security building and disable the cameras so that Farmer Unicorn won't be able to track me down as easily. The problem is, to get in the security building, I need a security key card, which after many days of searching, I still can't find. Okay, it is currently day 26, and we really need to start making progress on escaping. Now, luckily, we know that the vault is underneath the fountain, and I can get the TNT there. But every time I've been really moving around or trying to advance, I keep getting caught. And according to Unicorn, it's because of his security cameras. So we need to get into that security building so we can disable those so it becomes way easier to get around this farm. Shouldn't be too hard. I've done this in the past. It's usually not overly difficult, but we just got to be extra careful. I think the code is either in Unicorn 
Unicorn's house or this dog area. Now, I've already looked pretty good in Unicorn's house and didn't find it, leaving just... Oh, he's in his house. We're not going to the house. We're definitely not going to the house to double check. He is in the house right now. Get across, get across, get across, get across. Don't get seen. On the bright side, he's not in security. Oh, God. Oh, God. I forgot the doghouse. Doghouse has a lot of dogs. Noted. Oh, God. There we go. Okay, and it looks like there's a bunch of dogs in kennels, which is about what I expect. Oh, who are you? I'm gonna avoid you. I haven't had a chance to actually look at this building yet, and I want to be careful. Now, I'm trying to avoid the security. There we go. We can get up here. Right over here. Dog keeper. Oh! No, leave me alone, please. Ah! Oh, God. Leap! Oh, God, oh, God. He's after me. Oh, and the dogs! What did that sign say? Shoot the bone. What bone? Is there a bone up here? No, there's not a bone up there. They're not talking about this bone, are they? There's just a camera on it. You don't think this is an impossible, like, shot challenge, is it? Like, because there's a light there, and I see like that, so that could be redstone. And the only place a button could be that I can't see is on top. So I'm going to try it. Oh, it turned on. The light turned on. Did it open? <gasps> the door's open. Oh, and there's a dog inside. Oh, it is something. It's a box room. Okay, let's go through the millions of boxes, see what we can find. Any key cards, items, any nothing. There it is, baby. Let's go. Security key card. So it looks like I was right. We have gotten the key cards. Now we can actually get into security and disable these cameras. Okay, there's a few by this front gate that are going to start blasting me. Let's kill these guys by security. Let's go ahead. Let's use this key card. Let's just get inside. Oh, there we go. We're in. Oh, security dog. Not a security dog. Look, dude, I'm not looking for trouble. Hey, we got access to the cameras. Simply in this camera monitor. We got access to a bunch. We got this one here. We can see a bunch of cameras with that. Okay, let's check these. Nothing. Another camera monitor. Okay. Power three book. I think it's everything I can loot here. So we got the camera. Wait, which camera monitor has more cameras? Cool. Okay, so we have access to these. And now, on top of access to the cameras, we also found a power three book. So I don't even need to buy the power one book inside the main area because I have a power three book now. And we should be able to enchant that using our anvil. So anyway, let's get out of here. And now let's go ahead. Let's get back to the skeleton building. Let's do some enchanting, get some levels up, and let's go. Now that I had control of the cameras, life around the farm was getting way easier. You see, having the camera monitor allows me to track Farmer Unicorn's location around the farm, making it way easier to avoid him and avoid getting sent to his slaughterhouses. Going forward, I still have to find a way to obtain that TNT, which of course is blocked by a large color code door. I need to find out what that code is if I'm gonna be able to escape. Okay, did a little bit more mining after all that craziness. Got a few more diamonds. I could actually make a diamond pick. No. Yeah, we'll make a diamond pick. It's currently day 31, so in case I need to start mining up some obsidian or anything like that, I should be good. Let's go ahead here. We got a diamond pick now. I can get rid of the iron picks. Just save them for other stuff. And let's go ahead and let's work on finding the code to the first part of the vault. Now, the reason I, want, I need to do that is because, well, I mean, it's the first thing I need to get out. And we haven't found any clues to it yet, so I'm gonna head to Unicorn's house again because, like I said, I looked at it, but I don't feel like I looked at it well enough. And so I'm gonna go back there, and I'm gonna go ahead and just see if we can get in inside and see what we can find inside because I have a funny feeling the only way I'm going to be able to find this code is going to be inside this house. So let's just go over here to the house real quick. Okay, we're in the house. Okay, let's just start checking around some of the... Oh, I don't want to sit. Checking around some of the cabinets maybe. Is that a dishwasher? Oh, there's full iron armor in here with like unbreaking three. Hold up. And there's soap in here. What, ha what happens if I start it? Is that repairing? Okay, I'm going to let that repair. That is free unbreaking three iron armor. Okay, I hope he doesn't hear that noise because that is kind of loud. Okay, let's go look upstairs. Nothing crazy. Just going to sink with a mirror. Let's see my own... Turn my thing off. Oh god, he's here. Can I open these windows? Can I break the window? Oh, I can break the windows with my sword. So when I break, okay, cool. I didn't mean to break them. There we go. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. Put the windows back. Put the windows back. No! Run! Oh! Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Come here, boy. Is he close? Oh, he's really close. Oh, he's a sniper, too. Okay, I'm stopping. 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 One shot. Dude, this thing, you're I done. fell right in front of him out the window. Yeah, so you were trying to do my laundry, huh? No, I wasn't. I wanted the helmet. Unbelievable. Come with me. Follow me. You just so happen to have followed in front of me on a very spectacular today. Today's the day of my circus show. And uh, I do need a special skeleton uh, to go around and do exactly what you're doing right now, which is to kill dogs Wait, or what? get killed by dogs. Either one's fine with me. Look, okay. there's plenty of paying customers out there, so make sure it's a good show. Oh, okay, I'm on a gold platform. That's a choker box. Ladies! Oh, a better bow! And gentlemen! Now, for the Ooh. show you've all been waiting for, Where Skeletons oh. versus Wolves! Let's have a round of applause for our Skeleton compadre out there, and then let's have another hearty round of applause for our up-and-coming Wolves! 
Uh oh god, wave one. Here we go. Where is it? Like going for multiple sides or just these? Okay, just these. I got a better bow. Oh, it's killing them faster, but it takes a while to charge up. There we go. Uh, the gold platform like slows them down. Skeleton really enjoyed their appetizer, but let's see how they fear against our new wolves. Ha! Wave two. Where is it? Yeah. Oh god, these ones jump. There we go. We killed them. We killed them. We killed them. Wave four already? Oh god. What's wave four? Get them boys. Oh, here they Get come. Them boys. Easy. 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 Oh, here we go. We got two more over here. You're supposed to be putting on a show, little doggies. Come on. This this iron bow that was here is so good. I can just snipe them before they even get to me. Wave six. What's wave six? Oh, you. You. Th oh, three. Oh, that's like a bunch of them. Oh, that's like five. Oh. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. What's wave seven? What's wave seven? I'm going to have to start pulling out the big guns. What big gun? Oh, God. Okay. Come on, boys. Keep getting them. Keep getting them. Where's wave eight? Oh, here we go. Two, three, four. Oh, God. That, that quickly increased the number. There we go. Nice. This armor is so good. All right. Get him, Rexy. Boss. Oh, that's a big dog. Okay, here there we go. There we go. Get him. Oh, he dives. He jumps. I didn't think the big one would j jump. Yep, you stay behind that fence. Rex, come on. That's it. I'm throwing in some. Oh, uh -oh. out. Out. Come on. Come on. There we go. We got him. Oh, come on. Really? Where'd these guys come from? Why well, are you spawning them? Oh, my goodness. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope the show was too disappointing. Uh, kind of my own fault. Uh, no refunds. Well, that's a victory. We took on all the skeletons. We had to use a bunch of arrows, but we won. Anyway, we should be free from the slaughterhouse now. So I think I just go to the gate and wait for him to let me out. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I misplaced my, my get out of circus key. Here, let me take you on back. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't see that coming. A circus where dogs try and murder me? Not what I was expecting. Anyway, we survived and that's all that matters. I still need to find the code to that TNT bolt, but that was actually going to have to wait because after the slaughterhouse, I needed to enchant my armor. Now, I know that I wasn't taking that much damage from the dogs, but the slaughterhouses were only going to get harder and harder from here. So I had to be prepared just in case. So I spent the next while getting all the supplies I needed for a proper enchanting room. And I don't just mean like plopping an enchanting table on the floor. No, I made a full enchantment room, bookshelves and all. With the enchantment table ready, all I had to do left was grind for some levels and it was time to enchant. Okay, we are currently on day number 40. So I need to go ahead and I need to find the code to the exit. But first, it's time to spend our 50 levels. Now, I actually technically had like 54 or something like that. And I spent like three or four on getting the bow enchanted with the power three ability. But we got the full enchanting room. So let's go ahead. Where, where's my lapis? Let's go ahead. Let's get the enchanter going. Let's get the sword in here. Now, I could spend 30 and give it knockback two. Po poison aspect. I didn't even know that was a thing. We got smite four knockback two. That's not overly great, if I'm being honest with you. We may make another diamond sword. Not immediately, but down the road. I want to spend all my levels. So. There we go. Prot four and breaking three. That's what you like to see. Protection three on that one. We prefer unbreaking on the diamond helmet. Now, on all my other helmets, I'm also going to see if I can quickly get unbreaking. Unbreaking three on this one. I, that'll do. That'll actually work. And then I'm not going to really worry about the ones that are enchanted. But there we go. So we actually, we're in a pretty good spot. So we just throw on this stuff for the minute. We got our gear basically enchanted. That took way less levels than I was anticipating. So I think we just start looking for the code and see if we can crack the first part of this vault. Now, I've already gone ahead and checked a few areas for the code that I can guarantee you it is not. I can guarantee you it is not in the doghouse. I've double checked that place. It's not. I can guarantee it's not in the Security room either because once again double checked it definitely not there the only place it really could be is unicorn's house because i still haven't gotten a really good chance to double check it and i've only really looked on the first and second floors and i'm pretty sure there's a basement in there that i just haven't been able to check out yet oh he's in front he's in front of his house leave me alone dogs Leave me alone, dogs. Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. I have not actually been down here yet. I went up there, but I didn't even like, I went like blind to this. Like I just didn't see it. Oh my God. I used all the soap, but look, I have two on breaking three helmets. I mean, let's look around here. What do we got here? A mirror, a chest with a TV remote. Sometimes like he hides stuff in the carpets. Oh, that's it. He hasn't done this trick in a while. He hid the elevators underneath the carpet. That was it. Boom. Vault code. Okay, what's the vault code? What is it? I decided to hide the vault code under my basement. A code a code basement to my basement, if you will. Blue, purple, magenta, pink, red, orange, yellow, green. Boom. Okay, we got this. Now we just need to get out of here and get to the vault. Let's eat a little bit of our rich calcium. Okay, you don't see unicorn around. Let's go this way quick. Let's get over to this, uh, this, this fountain real quick. Let's go down. Okay, let's try this code out. Blue, purple, magenta, pink. Blue, purple, magenta, pink. And then if, is it gonna go red, orange, yellow, green? Oh my God, it is. It's just an order. Yellow, green. It was just an order. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, shulker box. Punch one and punch two. Oh, I don't need both. I just need punch two. Okay, well, for this next thing. Okay, I see what I need. I'm gonna need to place some sort of block in.
in these spots to carry the signal. Now, I'm going to need a circuit block, most likely, because that's what he's done in the past when he's done signals like this. So let's go ahead. Let's just get out of here. We've gotten through the first part. Let's go back to the skeleton place for now, just because I don't want to overstep my boundaries and just risk getting caught here. And let's just go back down, do some more mining, get some more levels, and see what type of enchantments we can get on our gear. After opening the first part to the TNT vault, I now know that I needed three circuit blocks to open the next layer of security. I spent the next few days looking, but had no luck finding any of these circuits. There were still plenty of areas to check, though, so I was not giving up. Okay, day 40. We just finally got the sword I needed and wanted. Check it. Sweeping edge three and breaking three sharpness three. The only thing that would make that better, honestly, is sharpness four and maybe fire aspect, but I'll take it. I also went ahead and gave the punch two to the bow, dispo good. And then we just kind of rearranged our hot bar and did all that jazz while also looking for these circuit blocks. Now I haven't found any of them yet, but that's hopefully changing today. We're hoping to find another one today. And we're gonna actually go ahead and make our way over to the circus area to check out there. Cause I feel like I've done good, a lot of good searching over at Unicorn's house, security, and all that. And I haven't found it yet. So I don't think it's over by those areas. So we're gonna head to this circus just to be safe because I have a funny gut feeling that it's gonna be there. Okay, I can't get up to the villager. Oh, he'll trade me and get emeralds from this guy. I don't know if these are actually worthwhile. Copper wire and empty casings. Okay, that's not too helpful. Okay, so I can't really search around the circus. I was, I thought I could maybe get in here. I could probably break this, but like I said, he wouldn't hide anything behind something I had to break. So on, let's go in F5. Oh no. Oh, I just... You need, you need help getting in there, partner? I could let you in here if you want. No? No. no. Okay. That's fine. I got a better place to put you anyway. Come on, follow me. Oh, God. Dude, he literally snuck up behind me. I did not even see him coming. I didn't have time to, like, react and scream. Okay, we're going to Slaughterhouse 4. All this right. is tiny. See this? Tiny. See this maze right here? This tiny maze. All yes. I need you to do is complete it. All right? Mm -hmm. And then you Easy. can come back alive. Easy. There's okay, a little pressure looks... plate. It'll this teleport is... you teleport me where who knows anyway luckily it seems like this slaughterhouse is going to be a nice easy maze which is fine because i like mazes they're nice and easy they're not overly difficult we just got to find our way to the end and it doesn't look too long here we go here's the end apparently that is not the end what is going on in here oh god i hope this is not maze runner and there's monsters in here oh this is gonna be insane look at this maze oh no okay there's a diamond block there there's a gold there and there's an iron there and a black one on the other side like a coal block I'm assuming I only have to worry about the gold, the diamond, and the iron, meaning there's probably three levers or buttons that I need to find in this maze and bring to the end. That's what I'm assuming based on that center area. Okay, dead end that way. We can keep going this way. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Kind of like a straightaway here. Oh, we found something. Okay, there's a crate block behind this, and there's a bunch. I'm assuming I got to shoot all the buttons. How many do I need? Three times, one, two, 15. I need to waste 30 arrows here. That's frustrating. I'm not going to... I don't want to waste 30 arrows, but I'll do what I got to do. Wait. Oh, no. I'm going to have to waste more than 30. I understand how this works. Okay, so it's one, three, two. Okay, one, three, two, three. No, two. How many arrows do I have? Oh my God, this is gonna eat all my arrows up. One, three, two, two, uh, one. Darn it, one, three, two, two, three, one, two. Okay, three. Darn it, three, two, two, three. Yes! Oh, man, we only have 20 arrows left, but we got the iron lever. Okay, perfect. It was just like I assumed. So we get levers, and we have to bring them to those blocks. Okay, let's go try and work our way around here. Keep going through this maze. Let's keep going here. If I'm right... Yep, okay, here we go. Bring this to another one. What do you do? I can buy potions, which I don't really care about, if I'm being honest. And Aerostorm, which I don't even know what that does. It sounds cool. I'm buying Aerostorm. And then I'll buy however many arrows I can get with this amount. Well, there we go. We replenished our arrows fast. And we got Aerostorm. That worked out great. There we go. Oh, it's a dead end. It's got to be way in there. Here we go. What is this? And there's our answer. Do the jumps. Do the jumps. Ah, no! I picked up the arrow and it made me fall. Wait, can I maybe shoot the arrow back after I pick? Maybe after I pick up the arrow, I can shoot it back. I, that, that's a good plan. Let's try. Get ready. One, two. Did that work? Oh, that worked. That literally worked. Diamond lever achieved. There we go. That's the trick. We have the diamond lever now. We just need to get the gold lever, which I'm assuming if I keep following these left corridors, it's eventually going to lead there now. And there we go. We made it. Here we go. Look, another room. And it looks like this one, I got to do something on... Oh, wait, puzzle slime. It looks like this slime is going to follow me. And it looks like I have to lead him. It looks like there's going to be invisible blocks below. And I got to get him to that pressure plate in the far corner. You bring him here. Go this way. Wait, wait. No, we want to go here. Nice. Now this way. To the end. Okay, he opened it. Now, where did it open? Right here? 
Yeah, gold lever. Now we just have to go into the maze and find our way back to the center of the maze, which this is going to be a pain because this is the hardest part. And here we are. Boom, back at the entrance. Okay, let's go and let's put our levers in place. Do you guys say anything? I've been stuck down here for years. If I've learned something, it's to never extend your car's warranty. Take it from me, kid. You don't want to go there. Hey, kid, want to buy some bones? Oh my God. Okay, we're done here. Anyway, iron lever, done. Boom. Diamond lever, done. Boom. Gold lever, done. Boom. Okay, maybe I gotta just hit the levers again. Uh, okay. Hit. And, oh, yep, that was the answer. Well, we're out. Perfect. And we've survived another slaughterhouse. Anyway, back to the, the bone zone, the bone pit. I don't even know what to call it. Let's go. After surviving slaughterhouse four, I kept looking around for circuits, but couldn't find any. These circuits must be hidden in places that I haven't been to yet or haven't unlocked yet. There's also a chance that one of them is hidden in a slaughterhouse. It's happened a few times in the past, but I'm going to wait on testing that idea for now because obviously it comes with the most risk. Okay, so it's day uh, the, the 56. That's the day we're on. And it is is time to well keep looking for these circuits i haven't found any anywhere pretty much and i haven't really had much time to uh check out a few areas here and there's actually a few things i want to explain so first i already dug it up it's kind of obvious that this is now dirt but i already dug this up and it turns out that there is stuff hidden in the graves we have a gun tons of rich calcium and more bones which will keep the bones in there which means there could be stuff hidden in any one of these and i'm willing to bet you that we're gonna find a circuit in one of these and the only reason i'm saying that is because if you remember in 100 day villager i had to use a brewing stand to open up a wall spot to get a piece to the puzzle to escape and i'm guessing that he, once again he's gonna try and hide something right under my nose unicorn loves doing this stuff so i'm gonna dig up every one of these and see if i can find myself a circuit piece or something it doesn't even have to be a circuit piece anything that can help me advance okay nothing on that row let's go down to this row booyah there it is circuit block number one so we actually do have the first piece so let's go ahead let's bring this over to the vault put the circuit in its place and then we'll uh we'll go ahead and we'll we'll continue trying to look for circuit pieces well that explains so much no wonder i couldn't find these circuits anywhere they are extremely well hidden and worst of all i still have to find two more of these things and i don't even know where they are like usual i have to continue my search and i will find these circuits okay we are still looking for circuits day number 64 uh one circuit obtained Two still completely missing that I just have not found. I've looked. I promise you. I have looked everywhere. Oh, get away. Get away. I, I've already gone ahead and looked pretty much everywhere for these things. It is not in the doghouse, and it is not in the security room, and I'm pretty sure it's not in this dungeon, though I haven't explored it too, too much. I haven't really gone through each of these cells outside, like, just quickly looking in the windows and not seeing anything. So we're going to go ahead and start at the... That's right. I saw you wandering around and I decided to make an ambush. And it looks like it paid off, boy. <laughs> get out. Get out of the dungeon. Also known as a mausoleum. Yeah, mausoleum. Which is pretty ir ironic because, you know, that's kind of where dead people go. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's funny. Haha. <laughs> anyway, keep on walking. Ah! All right. So, uh, this is a more recent installation to, to get uh, some of them sweet, sweet funds. Go ahead in there and uh, spook up a storm for me, all right? And. <laughs> <laughs> and watch out for the clown, by the way. Oh, God, another maze. Am I going to get chased through a maze by a murderous clown? Okay, hold up. There's a door over here. Oh, it's a troll. Wait, that door is a troll. I can see that, too. Hold up. There's... I don't even know what exit's the real exit. That looks like an exit. That red area. The red area. Ow. Die. Ha! Get wrecked. Let's go to this next room. What is this? Right eye. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a clown boss battle. With the left eye. Come on. Left eye's almost dead. One more shot and the left eye's done. Come on. Ow! Getting this diamond armor was definitely the right call. Right eye shot. Left eye shot. Did it just say yay? How did that... What? How did that happen? How did... What? It just said yay! How did that happen? What? That's not a Minecraft sound effect, is it? Okay, now we're in a room of skeletons. That's a pretty deep grave. Oh, no. I see a white crate down there. I'm gonna have to go down there. Welcome to the graveyard section of the funhouse. I can get a stereo for wish dust, okay? Okay, this guy wants the stereo for his CD. My buddy Clyde got buried here a while ago. Clyde wants the music disc for a funhouse staff key card, which I'm assuming gets me in there. Okay. So I definitely need to figure out how to get this wish dust. Let's go ahead and see if we're just dumb when it comes to this shot. That's a dead on hit. Oh, oh, I got two wish dust. Okay, well, let's trade some of this wish dust with this guy for a stereo. Let's get two stereos even. You guys need an upgrade. So here you go. I'm giving you a boom box and you give me yours for the CD. Then I have to bring the CD over to this underground guy who must like underground music. 
trade him for this. And then let's go ahead and go to this staff room, open up this thing, I'm guessing hit that lever and we're out. Yes, there we go. And we are out of here. Slaughterhouse number uh, five, I think complete well that failed not only can i still not find the other two circuits but i was sent to a slaughterhouse but it's okay i survived and continued looking around the farm for these circuits okay lovely progress day 71 still only one circuit to name for it but that is okay because we are going to find the second circuit today i got a gut feeling let's go ahead let's make our way to the doghouse because there is still a few areas there that i guess it could be hidden and i haven't really gone back there because of the amount of dogs and that stupid guard boss that just kills me every time or i shouldn't say kills me almost kills me we've been through here before so there he is now likely he's gonna do a bunch of damage if he gets me here so i want to get up to his desk let me see if there's something because he, he looks like there's a desk up there okay you come here come here mr dog keeper don't no no, no don't hit me i can't have you hit me i need to get around you can i click any of these can i click any of these can i click any of these okay no not the chair not the chair not the chair check 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 check. okay there's nothing here okay go go no 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 ow! whoa whoa wait what what the heck where am i i got whacked by the guard and i'm here oh circuit block two is in here oh there's unicorn oh god well 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 a little birdie told me someone was snooping around my dog house and i didn't think it'd be mr bones that's your name by the way what's what? your new name Anyway, Mr. Bones, you're going to be serving a seven-day sentence in there for snooping around too much, all right? Okay? So maybe this will teach you a lesson about snooping around in my farm. Okay. Oh, wait. Serve your seven-day sentence. It's day 78. Oh, my God. And now I just got to wait to be released. After being caught and released from the prison cell, I went ahead and placed circuit two where it needed to go. From here, I just needed one additional circuit and I would be past the second layer of security leading to the TNT. Okay, lovely day 79, technically speaking at this point. Uh, so day 79, we are making some actual progress today, I'm hoping, because it's time to go into Unicorn's house because yesterday after I was released, I learned something crazy. Let me show you what weird about this house so something i noticed is if you look upstairs you can see that against this window you can see crates to the right that's going to be important in about one second you'll see what i mean now if i go upstairs to that room where are the crates there is something behind this wall and you know what else is kind of weird why is there a sink in a bedroom and nothing else something ain't right and so i have an idea there's a sink down here as well and i believe there was a sink in the basement okay i was wrong about the basement but there's also a sink here now there's no way to turn on the sink there's no way to start that up but i can take this bucket here i can also take this water thing here actually let me see if this is enough to fill the sink i was gonna get a water bucket but this may work i called it i knew it dude this look how was i supposed to figure this out this is insane okay check the crates oh light crate circuit three there it is let's go let's go bring it to its place i can't believe it it was it was actually there i knew something was weird about that here we go throw this down and now step on this Boom, it's open. Key card access and a shulker box with flame and power four. I could make a really OP bow here. I could make a really OP bow here. Anyway, let's go back to the skeleton pit. We have done a lot. Uh, I, at this point, I'm honestly gonna start looking for an upgraded bow so we can start prepping for the finale, which is getting closer and closer as we go ahead and find all of these pieces to escape. After finding the last circuit, all I needed to do now was find a key card to get me into the last part of the vault. I looked around a bit, but at this point, I feel as though I've searched pretty much everywhere. So I don't really know where to look for this key card. Okay, so we are currently pretty deep in day 86 and we still gotta find this key card, but I've already searched like everywhere. I can guarantee you it's not in any of these. Now I'm gonna go check out the prison cell a little bit more because now that I've been through there and I kind of understand how it works. I don't think it's anything but aesthetics. I was a little nervous going into these in case I got trapped, but I think because of that other trap that's there, I, mean, I don't have to worry as much. Because yeah, these aren't activating anything. Now I can't get into this one. This one has nothing. This one has nothing. Ah, oh, wait a minute. <gasps> Infinity power. We got a power five. Well, we have power five. Hold the phone. We could set up some enchantment here. Why am I standing outside? I could burn. We can upgrade that bow to be a power five infinity flame arrow storm bow. It, unfortunately, we'll get punch on it. But that's the only thing it's really going to be missing. So I think that besides that, if we can find an upgraded book. Come out with your hands up. Uh, you like the dungeon so much. I, I'm, I, I have half a mind to put you back in there for another seven days. And hey, Mr. Bones, what do you think about that? Uh, if you don't want that to happen, then you're going to play my little game. Now, I recently found another skeleton just kind of meandering about. Definitely uh, just kind of looking around for no reason. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, we're on Slaughterhouse 6, so this is where we're going. I'm a little All right, bit nervous. so this is a little game. You, you go ahead and hit player one for me. 
Okay. All right. You two. You two have been caught red-handed outside the walls. And I'm sure you noticed below you there's a big pit of lava. Oh, I just did, actually. Just noticed the lava pit below me. All right, so let me explain this real easy lack, all right? To your lefts and rights, there are buttons that activate the floor below you. You want to shoot the one corresponding to the person on the other side. So It'd be if better I... if I gave you a visual example, all right? Uh, <laughs> Here, you step, you step to your right real quick. Okay. Oh! Yep, you don't want to be a part of that. Now. Uh, let's say your arrow is sticking in there. Oh, I can't and pick you it can't up. can't do nothing about it. All right. Bam. Resets arrows. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. So the back button resets arrows, and I got to try and knock them down with the side shots, but I got to shoot their side. I get it. Okay. I, I want to see a clean fight out there. All right. All right. Get shooting. Go, go. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. I knocked him. I already knocked him down one. Let's go. Oh, okay. Already. I can't see where they are. Let's shoot the same exact one. Same side. No, he's going to the left side. Go shoot the left side. Where is he? I need to look back up. There he is. He's in the middle. He's in the middle. Let's shoot the right side. Shoot his buttons. Shoot the buttons. Across Did I get him? Oh, he's burning. I won. Yes. Didn't even touch me. He didn't even drop me. Mm, that was a little too easy. I'll be right back. Wait, what? All right. Uh, I just went on over to the bone pit and picked out another skeleton. Yeah, you go on and press player two. It'll be a fun game. Now, I'm going to assume that uh, you'll pick up the game right quick. All right. So I'm just going to start the game. You figure it on out, player two. All right. Okay, here we go. Where do you want to go? Uh, drop him. <laughs> Get dropped. Don't shoot your own. You gotta shoot the other ones. Okay, shoot that one. Oh, we got him twice. Ow! Okay, we just need one more. Reset. They're on this side. Okay, we just need to shoot. What, left one? Did that open it? No, I missed. Come on, break it. I missed. I bad. I bet. Oh! Oh! We fell. We fell. Oh, we fell. We fell. Look, looks like Rain Champ has been taken down the notch. Oh, God. Yes, I got him. 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 Look at that. I'll, I'll tell you what. They, they weren't too much of a challenge, now, were they? Uh, no. I kind of want this to be a bit spicy. Oh, my you know God. Here we go right, again. Here, here. Come come on down. This time, you're going to be versus me. Now let what? Me, let, me, let me put on my, my anti-fire boots real quick. Oh, so you All can't right. die, but I can. All right. You go ahead and hit player one. I'll be player two. Oh, no. All right. This is this is your boss level, boy. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. All right. Ready, set, go. You don't want to mess with the likes of me. Woo. Oh, Woo. I fell. I fell. I fell. Yeah, what? You going to take me down? Oh, yep. jeez. All right. Oh, jeez is right. Dropped him too. Yeah. I got him. I got him. <laughs> I beat him. Real legend you are at this. Come on. Yes. All right, let me take you on back, okay? But I don't want to have to see you back here. Ah! Bay 87. I don't plan on getting caught today. Let's keep looking for that key card. We checked out the vault pretty good. It wasn't in that, like, dungeon area. Though we did get some upgraded gear. I... I if I could find a better bow, I'd probably actually upgrade. But the problem is, is I've explored pretty much everything. So let's go around to the slaughterhouses. And maybe there's something I can take from one of these later ones. Now, four, I don't want to go back to that maze. There's no way it's in that. If it is in that maze, good luck. That maze is insane. I guess it could be in seven because of how tall it is. But I haven't gone to seven yet. And I just was at six. And it's definitely not in six. So, oh, God. Oh, does he see me? Yeah, he sees me. Okay, we're running. Yeah, we're running. Yeah, we're running. Yeah. This Hello, little doggy. Go back here. Maybe you won't see it. I think... Oh, no. Can we fit? We... <gasps> we don't fit. No! I just bought some new rifle rounds. I want to test them out. Ah! I can't move! <laughs> yeah, I got you cleared. No. Wait, what are you doing? It's Dodge me in case you shoot. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, stop it. Back it up. Yeah, I did... I was doing a little patrol. I was actually up on top of the hill over by the fountain. And I noticed you uh, you walked on. You just walked on out. So I decided to follow you around, see what you do. But you started meandering a little too much for my taste. So I decided to just right on catch you. I didn't even see him. Now, do me a favor. You're going to be doing one of my flat courses, okay? Uh, now, uh, don't go in there just yet, okay? You're going to go in there, and you're going to get yourself a pair of wings, okay? Every 20 seconds, you're going to get something real nice, okay? Boost you right on up, okay? All you got to do be the first one out of that big old box there okay first one everyone out of the box. Else, you're gonna be leaving for dead <laughs> you understand i think if i'm basically first one in the top wins all right you you gotta get on in there shoot Ow. did i get wings oh i did oh but they're so damaged okay these guys all got wings we all have elytra on i guess the game's get gonna ready. begin i'm starting the course <laughs> okay here we go oh i got a rocket okay that means we can go up here we go okay and land right here here we go good place to land there we go. Okay, we made it pretty high. I don't see anyone else who made it this high. We gotta keep going up. It looks like it's a course that goes up. I would like to... Oh, we got another rocket. Here we go, ready? Get on this cloud, get on this cloud. Yes, we made it to this cloud. Let's go for that pink planet. 
Come on. Make it, make it, make it. Ooh, barely. We barely made it to the pink planet. Do I see anyone below me yet? I don't even see anyone below me. To the white planet, to the white planet. Oh no, we made it past the first glass layer. Oh, we made it. We're so close. How do we go? Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? What do I do? Let's go back to this planet. It looks like we have time. It looks like they had to restart. Oh, we made it up two layers. Three layers. Oh, that almost killed me. But I think this, is this it? Is this the end? How do I get up here? Do I have to fly up? I think I have to fly up. Here we go. Boom, I did it. Now, how do I get down? Do I have to fly down? I think I have to fly down to the start. Can I fly out? Wait, hold on. Can I just escape like this? Imagine. No, there's barriers. Darn it. Okay, we'll just land in front of it again. We survived. I think that makes me the winner. You wait there. I'm pretty sure Unicorn's gonna come kill you. Back to the, the, the skeleton house or whatever it's called. Not only can I still not find this key card, but I was also caught twice just trying to find it. I only have a few guesses left at where it could be, but with it already being past day 90, I need to find this key card soon. Okay, so it is the night of 94, day 94, night 94 at this point, basically. And we still cannot find this key card. I, I'm stumped. I'm genuinely, genuinely, genuinely stumped. I've gone through all all the slaughterhouses except for slaughterhouse eight. Me what do you mean you saw something? You're a big lug headed I'm idiot. Not, what do you mean? You didn't see nothing. Did he see me? No way. No I way. I saw little footsteps. I saw footy steps over here. No, he didn't. 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 Where'd you go? Where'd you? Uh -huh. I see no, he seemed to know. Are you kidding me? That's right. Are you kidding me? I didn't see champions since 2019, boy. Come on, get down oh, from that tree. Oh, this is dumb. This is dumb. So you, you Yo. probably noticed. Uh, this is uh, this is one of my new hires. I'm just kind of teaching him the ropes and whatnot. All right. Uh, but <laughs> let me tell you, boy, you sure got yourself in the thick of it because I'm this... about to teach you a whole lesson, boy. Is Come this on. a slaughterhouse? Oh. Oh! Oh! Ow! Get him, boys! Oh, jeez! What, what is even happening? Okay, they throw anvils at me. Thank God I have this bow. Wait, did I even enchant it with infinity yet? Oh my God, it's the last slaughterhouse and I didn't even enchant it yet. Okay, this one is the one throwing stuff at me, so he's the one I want to worry about the most. Dodge, 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 dodge. Gotcha Go now! Oh, ow! <laughs> There's traps? <laughs> Hold on. These squares just scream traps. Okay, we just got to survive. That was a little bit of damage and a little bit of lag, but that's okay. How many ammo do I have left? I'm almost out. I can kill him, though. There we go. He's gone. He dropped two key cards. Let's see if we can get close. Here we go. Yeah, it's faster. Get him. Come on. Yeah, baby. What'd he drop? What'd he drop? Another key card. What is this one? Exit card two. We need a ball. There must be an exit here. There must be an exit here. I see one. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Come on. Exit Just card one. On exit Come card no. two. And I'm gone. And I'm going back before he gets out of here. I'm going back to the bone zone. He will not be able to find me. Now that we have the key card to the vault, we can finally access the TNT and escape this farm. All we have to do now is survive the escape heist and we will have completed the 100 day skeleton challenge. Okie dokie. So it is day 99, the day of the final heist that we just got to prepare, make sure we got all the supplies we do and make sure that we have everything we're going to possibly need. Now I was going to go ahead and I, I was going to go ahead and wait for another upgraded bow. We didn't get another upgraded bow. Not the end of the world. We got the dispo good. Let's go ahead. Let's just upgrade it on the last day for just the sake of it because we can. Let's give it power five. Let's go ahead. Let's give it flame. I can't. It would cost 17. I can't even afford my own bow. Never mind. It doesn't get flame and it doesn't get arrow storm. No, not it. Okay, hold on. I need to at least find out what arrow storm did if I spent that much. I can't afford it. No. Okay, we got the levels we needed. Let's go ahead. Let's put Arrow Storm on the bow because I want to see what it does that bad. Here we go. We got the Arrow Storm bow. Let's go ahead. Let's do the final heist. Let's also see what this does. Oh, it shot three arrows. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, well, let's go ahead. Let's do this final heist. We got the vault key card to get the TNT. We got just enough inventory space. We want to make sure we have our wings on us. Okay, let's grab one log real fast. Check our helmet. We're doing good. Okay, log. Grab the log. We got four wood. Make some sticks. We got plenty of sticks. Let's make some levers. There we go. We got five levers we can work with. Now we just need to go get the TNT, blow up the front gate, fly on out, and we will have completed this. It is day 99. We'll beat it just before day 100. And then obviously we'll survive till day 100 to complete the challenge. Let's go. So we go this way. Open this bad boy up. Grab all this TNT, which will be more than enough to blow up the front gate. And then we are out of here. So let's go. Okay, we know the gate's this way. Let's get going. Six dead. They're all gone. Later. Okay, we're getting out of here. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, he sees hey, me. What, oh, what he sees me. Go, 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 go. Why'd you attack my dog? Come here. Come on, please. Is that TNT? Is that from my vault? Run, run, run. Oh, ow. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. 
Pop, pop, rocket. Oh, God. Oh, this. I'm almost dead. Oh, GG's. Yeah, you think you're real funny, Woo! huh? Let's go. 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 The wings weren't enough. The wings were not enough. Get down, get down, get down. Eat some food, eat some food, eat some food. We need to go. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. Where can I fly? Where, Where can I go? fly? There's no way he's catching us. There's no way. Yeah, we're definitely gone. We're definitely gone. Yes! And we are out of here. And now we just need to wait for the sun to set, day 100 to come about, and we will have completed this challenge. Day 100! There we go. Perfect. And we have survived, completed this challenge, 100 days as a skeleton. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time.